The April updates for Dynamics 365 Business Central brought a simplified help and support experience. Here in the web browser, this now looks like this, and I can access help and support and go to the help pages as before and go to docs.microsoft.com site. However, completely new is this troubleshooting section. Now, inspect pages and data is shown in a separate video. Here we're looking at view the last known error. I'm now going to demonstrate that in action. I'm signed in here as a user who's got quite limited permissions in the system at the moment. If I go to customers, I get an error message. Many users at this point aren't necessarily particularly good at relaying that information to their system administrator to get that error fixed. Uh, they will tend to click off it and not retain the actual error message. It's best to get a screenshot if they can, but actually now they don't need to. So if Bob, who signed in here, has clicked off that, when Bob comes to report that error message to the super user, the system administrator, can actually go into help and support, go down to view the last known error. And we see that it gives me a repeat of the specific information that I would need to give to the system administrator to help them fix this error for me. And specifically in this case, the table data that I need extra permissions on. We also have much more detail further down for those that need that level of information. The majority of people, this first line will give you the information that you require to fix the permission error. Now, if I switch to the Universal app here and I'm signed in as George, the administrator, we see that same functionality has a slightly different view. I've got help and support available to me, and I then get to the, the same page. So it's just a slight difference to the, the top level menu here in the Universal app. I can go and fix that error quite easily. Bob's already in a user group. And I just need to add a permission set that'll fix that error. Now back on as Bob, if I click customers, it now grants me access to that list of customers. And we now see that Bob has access to the customer record as intended.